Hello everybody and welcome back to Paper Mario for the N64. It's been a bit of a while, hasn't it? Well, I looked at the comments from uh, whoever, however, well, uh, however, bleh, bleh. I looked at those comments and I have considered the badges and these are the ones that I have equipped based on the suggestions. Power jump, multi bounce. Uh, there was somebody who was asking for something called power bounce. Um, I couldn't tell if it was supposed to be power jump or multi bounce, so I just equipped them both. Um, smash charge, quake hammer, D down, pound, double dip, flower saver. That's the one that I bought from uh, uh, w w using the star pieces, and that took about 25 out of my 26 star pieces, so that was the only one I could buy from there. Mega Rush, Last Stand, Power Rush, Pretty Lucky, Feeling Fine, Refund, I Spy, Dizzy Spin, Dizzy Attack, and of course, the Attack FX badges. Ah, uh, well. As of this video, we're going to start a new adventure today. And that adventure takes us to find the next Star Spirit. Um, wow, I wonder how long it's been since we've started an adventure. May as well save. Why not? Okay. So first things first, uh... I want to prepare myself for the... Actually, you know what? Perikari... No, bow. Let's use bow. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, there you go. See, there's a fish right there. If you're feeling brazen, you can just jump in and swim after it. Not sure what species you are, but you may be able to catch it depending on what you are. Hello there. Yes, I believe we met once before. Or twice now, actually, if I, as I recall. Three times! No, it was three times. Right, once to meet you, once to give you a star piece, and now this time. Lava Lava Island. <laughs> All right, Lava Lava Island, okay. Ah, I see. A treasure and adventure awaits us. Ah, uh, boat. Boat, maybe flying if we have some sort of aircraft. Uh, this is the magical land of Mario World Universe, so I'm sure there's some way. Oh, what to be this creature I set my feet on? I don't know, but the geometry on it sure is strange, isn't it? Look at the way the shadows interact. Okay. Oh no! The creature, it speaks to us. What words of wisdom do you have to share, sir? Ah, indeed. I don't know, I've seen some pretty big tutus in my, uh, experiences. Oh dear. Alright, I'm not really trained for this. Should we call like a marine biologist for this sort of thing. Or that. Now, I'm not particularly well trained in helping with this sort of thing, but we probably need to give you a pill or something. Let's see. Pills, pills, pills. Um. Hmm. What do you think, Bo? Okay. Ah, I see. We need to let the place up. You know, every sense of my being is telling me that this is actually a terrible idea. This could be a trap for all we know. Eh, whatever. Falling for traps is what video game characters do best. there. 
I don't really know who you are or what you're doing in here. Alright. Pain, you say. I want to test a hypothesis real quick, and that is... Okay. Never mind. Hypothesis confirmed. Actually, is there any way to tattle you? I want to try. I know I'm wasting another turn here, but I want to see if it's possible. No. No, it isn't. Well, this is interesting. I suppose for lack of a better term, I'm forced to use what? Although, I'm pretty sure the rules app actually might stipulate that I'm not allowed to use what on bosses and mini-bosses. So, we may be at a disadvantage here. As for how to defeat you by using Wampa not attacking with you, I can think of a few possible ways. Uh, let's try this. There we are. Ow. Ah, uh, it's okay, I can't even use that thing anyway. So really, you're just wasting my time, sir. I can use items, however, and these will probably be pretty nice. Granted, it seems like a bit of a waste to use that power I have just to just use items afterwards. The refund also helps me get a little bit of my money back, so I'm not losing too much on this deal. Uh, what? I want to see if this stacks, actually. Let's give this another shot. Hmm. Okay, need medical attention. If I use Refresh, though, will that get away get rid of my power? Let's find out. We're all doing a, we're doing a bit of scientific experiments here in, inside the belly of a whale, which I again, which again probably isn't the best idea for this poor whale. I mean, we're shooting lightning in here. That poor thing must be. Oh, I see. It recharges your power your meter up there. So really, what I'm doing is wasting FP. Um, in that case, don't do anything. What? Be the light bulb, and I'll do things based on what I can see. Um, still can't hit you from where I am. Quake Campbell will have to do then. Ah, uh, that just adds an extra. Yeah, we're not getting any more FP out of that. Um, I really can't hit you, can I? No. All right, do nothing. Oh, that's lovely. Can I jump yet? No, no, I can't. Um, I'll just have to keep increasing the... Oh, I see. Even though I use it, the power doesn't go away. So as long as I keep doing this, I can uh, keep giving him uh, pretty more power. Ow. And just like... Oh, there's my shoe. Just in time for it to be invalid. Uh... You know what, let's double dip again. I know I'm using my items pretty, uh, liberally here, but... If I can't attack him with my partner, then I'm limited in options. And I'll use my remaining point to heal myself up. See, now if I get into any danger in the actual chapter, I'm gonna be kinda screwed. Although I do have a bit of money, so maybe I can buy something on the way out. Uh... Give me another charge, I could probably use that. By the looks of things, at least, I'm about to level up, so that'll be interesting. Ah, there we are. Okay. All in all, not really that bad of a battle. Okay. Uh, I am forced to do BP, because uh, that's what the rules stipulate. I'm pretty sure this last uh, time we can upgrade BP, though, so afterwards probably we'll go to uh, FP. I can't say for sure. Yeah, sucks to be you. What is a grub, anyway? Is that the child version of whatever you are? 
Maybe it's some form of lingo that I've never heard of before. But at least we've helped the whale, apparently. You know, maybe all those crates and boats in there is probably what's giving it the stomachache. Never mind the little guy. See, that's the sort of stuff Mario will be having nightmares about for weeks. I didn't even do anything to you. You're the one dumb enough to go in there. Hmm. Ah, uh, see? You can admit it. You're a tuna. I would like you to take me to the moon, if you would. I'm sure you can swim up there, can't you? I've heard of space whales before. I know you're kind. Oh, I would love to, sir. Going on an adventure with you folks. Oh! Whoa, that caught me by surprise. I didn't expect the partner to talk here. Um, so I heard. Big Whale, give us a ride. So we're going to a place that we know is going to erupt soon. That's the sort of situation that would say you should probably bring some sort of precaution. Maybe we should be going by a helicopter instead. It can't be that far if we're going on the back of a whale. We're not entirely sure this is safe, but that's the point of adventure. If you were having a safe adventure, then it wouldn't be quite worth it, would it? Who's talking to us? Was that you, Mr. Space Whale? Holy crap, that's a giant, uh, seagull. That thing could grab Mario and, like... Like, fly him away forever. That's dangerous. You know, those perfectly spherical, uh, seagulls. What are those things called again? Never mind. I, I I I had a reference in mind that didn't quite work. All right, but I'll hold you to that, sir. Smashing indeed. What do you say, old chap? We'll go get the spot of tea before joining our adventure. Right. Well, this is Lava... Lava Island, evidently. Uh, this place is filled with all sorts of quirks and wondrous things. For example, I think if you hold Z, or in my case, L, since I'm using a game controller, you can use them to repel yourself. Uh, these flowers, I believe, are health flowers, so you can heal yourself up with them. Well, some of them, anyway. Some of them do no such thing. I think others yet serve as different types of flowers. If no, I suppose not here. But there are flowers that do different things. If you go over here and you notice, by the way, BAM! A stopwatch. That may come in handy. And I'm pretty sure that all these trees also drop coconuts as well. Alright, I don't think I can reach that one. Nor can I climb up there. That's interesting. Hmm. Alright, we can keep going. So, as of the last episode, I recall um, having my doubts about a game that was being released called Paper Mario Sticker Star. And I have some thoughts on the matter regarding that now that it has been released. Oh. But we'll save that for later because it seems somebody's in jeopardy. Uh, first things first, let's switch our partner here. I tend to like your company a bit better. Hmm. 
I see that fellow is in a bit of trouble, isn't he? Let's assess the situation. We're dealing with a, uh, yellow fuzzy. And those yellow fuzzy rapscallions, well, they tend to do things to your FP as well as your HP. Or rather, don't they just target the FP? I don't remember for certain. We may have to look into this. And then again, it seems that uh, little guy is having a lot of fun at the moment, and well, I'm not thoroughly equipped with the items as far as I can tell, and I don't want to waste my uh, my one opportunity to do, to do a star storm here. Granted, let me think the situation over. That was be that was killing me in the background, and if I didn't get that now, I'd surely miss it. I mean, really, is it right for me to interfere? That fellow there is just... He's probably getting some decent research notes out of this, uh, experience. And who am I to say that this won't be an interesting part of his story? Still, we'll get bored here if I do nothing. Okay, little man. Oh, you know what? I should bring you out here, because we need to find out what you creatures are. It's a jungle fuzzy. Isn't that a euphemism for something? Sleazy. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So, they hang on to you until you do this. If you're really quick, you can probably do this without getting any damage, but I don't know anybody who can uh, hit that quickly. Uh, the fastest I've ever ever seen somebody uh, mash a button would probably have to be... Let's see... I'll have to think that one over. I know there's somebody I, that comes to mind. Actually, these folks are a bit more annoying because they force you to put a lot of effort into that. Um, I do know that if you have a Zabtap badge or like a, a Volt Mushroom, you can actually bypass that entirely. They, they'll just be, touch you and get shocked without doing any damage. Now that would be what you would do in the situation to save time and energy. Other than running away, of course. Um, but I'm not allowed to do that if, uh, because, you know, rules. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, um... Well, I suppose I can talk about, um... You know what? Let's save some time here. Ah. I thought that would do one more damage. Um, I suppose while we're not doing anything particularly important at the moment, we could talk about, uh... Actually, you know what, I'll save the rent for later, because it looks like we're almost out of time. After I finish this battle, we may want to move on to the next episode beyond this point. There we are. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Sure, indeed. There's more scientific experiments to be done right here. You are a scientist, right? Yeah, that's what he is. Let's see. May as well stock up on some supplies while we're here. Since we have the free inventory space, we may as well. If they don't turn out to be useful, we can probably sell them. Oh, hey. So that's something to bear in mind, too, over there. Oh, actually. Let's stop here. This is a pretty interesting place to stop. We'll say hello to these folks later on, but for now, it's time to conclude. Until then, everybody, stay tuned and good night.